This week, the concept is all about warming up properly before you work out. On Monday's lesson, it goes over the benefits of warming up. Some of them, just to recap, improve performance, improve blood flow, improved oxygen efficiency, faster muscular contraction. I added a couple of red notes because I just like the terminology um, that goes with it. Proprioce proprioceptive awareness for, you know, it just means you're going to be able to react a lot quicker, better coordination and such. Injury prevention, joint integrity, um, and mental preparation. Those are benefits of warming up. But some concepts that you need to be aware of in how to warm up, as you guys are should be working out on your own, these are some concepts that you need to have. Um, first off, the aspects of a good warm up, dynamic mobility. These all three work together. Dynamic mobility means that you are moving. You aren't just sitting and stretching or whatever. Uh, sitting and stretching is good for a cool down, but not for a warm up. For dynamic mobility, you, it's meant to increase the range of motion while moving. Increased range of motion is simply how far can a joint move? Can I go this far? Can I go even farther? Uh, but in general, it's more with your major joints, your muscle, your shoulders, elbows, knees, hips, etc. Those large areas. Um, can, you know, you start off going a little bit lower, etc. Et it's generally slower moving, which gets into this, motions that you're going to be using later on. So it's also movement specific. That means if I'm playing baseball, I should be doing warm up activities that relate to the motions I'm gonna be doing in baseball. Throwing is a biggie, swinging, getting that trunk rotation, running fast, getting from base to base, etc. chasing down a ball. Those motions are the motions you're gonna be wanting to do. Um, you, it also, if it is sport specific, then it's also going to go back over to that proprioceptive awareness where it's going to engage your brain and get the neurons clicking going oh okay i'm going to be doing this motion in a moment so your reaction time during that time will get better so that's why you want it motion specific but it's basically like your workout but slower in motion and again increase body temperature as you use your muscles they use the nutrients you eat because it's fuel for your body. As it breaks down in your digestive tract and it gets into the bloodstream and goes out to the muscles, your muscles use them. Your muscles are a cell. And when the cell uses the nutrients and uses the oxygen, one of the byproducts is heat. That's why when you are exercising and working out, you tend to sweat, you get hotter. Those are byproducts of working out. So your goal is to increase your body temperature and what it does is it makes your muscles more pliable, more able to move and get going quicker and not cause injury. Two key components of this, it should increase your body temperature, your heart rate, because that is what delivers the nutrients and the oxygen to your body. And it should increase your breathing rate. Not hard. In a warm up, it should be um, conversational pace you'll hear us say a lot if it's to where you can't breathe because you're working so hard that's not a good warm-up that's a workout you should be able to warm up and still talk to a friend if you have a friend around um, but you should be breathing harder than normal that means your body is getting the oxygen and the nutrients pumped around to those muscles in an efficient manner so these are the concepts today no different components it's movement it's movement specific to whatever activity you're doing and it should increase the heart rate and the breathing rate 